Hello there, and welcome to this, the Jew Padre podcast in association with Rated R Esports. Where who the hell knows where this conversation is going to take us? Well, let's find out. Everyone, welcome back to Jupadre. This is season two, episode oh shoot, sixteen. Guys, help me out. This is episode fifteen. 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 My apologies for that. I am Jupadre. I am Albatross One Seven. Wait, is this fifteen? See, is that's April what I'm 4th? saying. I've got, I've got. This is episode fourteen. No way. Yes, it looks like I messed up. Wait. What the crap? Okay, I see episode 11 was March 12th. Uh-huh. Episode 12 was March 28th. Wait, March 12th. 28th was episode 13. 11 was 21. Uh, 12 was March 28th. So 13 was last week, which would be March This April is 15. 4th. This is episode 15. I just went through my my archives of everything we've recorded Woo! and submitted. Well, wow. Wow, we got that completely wrong. I am Alatros17, <laughs> and welcome to season two, episode 15 of Audrey. I have been naming these wrong. I'm going through, and I've got on the on March 21st, I've got it as the 11th episode. March Oops. 23rd, March 28th, I got the 13th. March, mm. April 4th, the 13th, and April 4th. Oh, wait, wait that one's the one. Okay. So last week was actually the fourteenth. Indeed, Woo! it was. My, my apology. <laughs> Mine too. Like I didn't even look at it before we started the episode. I thought I would just know it, and then when I when I said it, I was like, "Wait a minute, is that right?" And so, well, that... I always ha- I always have it just sitting there, so I'm like, "Oh crap." Mm-hmm. So, well, what about oops. you, Blaine? Did were you right? I, I think I said it was the fifteenth, right? Okay. Then Bleen's the Correct winner me there. Correct me if I am. I'm wrong, listeners, but I thought I remembered it being... What, what are we doing here? Come on, guys. All Dang right, it. so this actually, <laughs> right now, this leads right into kind of what I wanted to talk about because I we've we've had to do so many things extra the last couple of weeks and everyone doing streaming, you know, radio broadcasts, uh, the LCS had to do stuff different. Everyone is needing to put in a lot of extra work to make podcasts, to make streams, to do radio and to do everything that they're doing with everyone working from home that I think that today is a great opportunity to talk about appreciating production value because oh, I'll give you that. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, there's people out there that are currently working at a data center to make sure that your streaming services mm-hmm. are up, whether it be Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, um, the CW. For, you know what? Screw the CW because they haven't come out with any new episodes of any show so far since, I, since it's been on quarantine. But everybody else, no, you know, I, I can highly respect that getting behind the I, – I hate saying the word essential workers, mm-hmm. so I would have to say you know, the, the workforce that's currently still you know, going, going out and working. Right. And so even just setting up our podcast, you know, we, we got on 24 minutes ago to use the exact same setup we used last week. And it still took us 20 minutes to get everything set up and ready to go. Everything positioned, (laughs) right? Like just, just think about that. And that's for something this small. And so we are, yeah, yeah, we are actually kind of tiny. So, but yeah, even Bleen's not computer wow the camera was malfunctioning and everything and it hasn't moved it hasn't done anything because what are you doing going outside and taking pictures oh my gosh it is so crazy how how electronics will do that like like my work laptop i'm not doing anything different i click the power button but it just for some reason it just won't it won't act right and then i'll turn it off for the night go back the next day and issue is fine Mm. yeah dude technology is so weird it is and so, you know, I want to I want to talk not just our podcast because we've seen the extent of what we do. It's really not that impressive. But I do want to talk about <laughs> other other streams. Like anyone who a while back watched me on the the Game Tyrant streams, that was all admin anonymous moving stuff around. Like they had a couple of other people, I think his name was Zeb, designed some of the overlays, but then admin put the scenes together 
and transitioned it while watching the game and monitoring sound and everything like that. And so we, I'm not kidding you. We were an hour pre broadcast at least every single weekend. Yeah. It's it ridiculous make, how much it actually makes goes work to make it look real good. Mm-hmm. It does. It takes a lot of work. Oh man. I mean, I don't actually leave all my stuff set up because I have a kid. He likes to touch it all, so <laughs> it takes me a bit to get set up. Oh, don't, oh man, he likes to touch stuff. and he, mm-hmm. he, I think he does it on purpose a lot of the time. I'm not surprised. And so that just adds another layer, right? Because now yeah. ev- everyone working from home, not, all of Game Tyrant is being done from home. All of the Phoenix Rising League that everyone will be able to see once we, you know, once that gets started and we announce that, I'll announce that at the end. Watch their streams. Watch Upsurge streams. Everything that's going on for Professional League of Legends as well, like most of it, is from home. And so, you know, families, dogs, all of that is there. And they have to keep resetting it up and remaking sure that everything's good to go. And I just, I wanted to... To explore- oh man what that reminds not to cut you off but no, that, that reminds me of how on our so how our company that, that you and i work for uh they had the two meetings one at 8 p.m and then we had ours at 10 a.m the next day yes. and now the ceo asks one of the ladies in his executive <laughs> branches oh hey where are the dogs today <laughs> and because she's using her camera the look on her face when she's just like oh my gosh because she's at home but And she didn't actually have like a, I don't know if she did or didn't have a dedicated place. I myself have a dedicated office. My door shut kids on the other side of the, of the door and the fence. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I put the fence up so I can't just beat against the door. Right. Yeah. And it's so funny because that, that also goes into exactly what we're talking about. You know, having a space. I know Bleen's in his office. You're in your office. I'm not in an office per se. My office is over there. My wife is working in there. So I'm in the, the kind of den area just outside, but I know she can. Oh uh, yeah. You're not, you're in that little, that little cubby spot. Yeah. And I can, ooh, I could do a tour of that yeah. so we can put it up on the Twitter and the Instagram. Heck yeah. 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 Because yeah, we'll bring over the GoPro and do it. Ooh, ooh, that's actually a really good idea. Let's do that. Let's do that sometime. Yeah, maybe I'll not today. Yep, another day. No, uh, I'll order the the, the handle for it. Mm. Heck yeah, we'll do tours. That way, look at that. We'll do tours of the offices. I like it. So, Bleen, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but is that going to be okay for you too? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we just won't do his awesome bed. <gasps> oh. We can show off my bed. <laughs> that sounds so dirty. It does. Hey, on my podcast today, what did we talk about? Blaine's bed. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this does, this discussion does make me miss the pod. You know, I think that's going to be the official name now, Albatross and Blaine. The pod. You know yeah. what? I've actually, I actually love that you, that, so I know it's, I know it's technically my office, but it's our pod. I actually use our table still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I use it today to, so I can install the pointless GPU support bar. Mm, congratulations on that, by the way. And pointless. Cause I, I, I actually went to see how much my GPU moves. It doesn't move at all, mm. but I found, okay. To, to everybody that doesn't know, I will post pictures up. I've, I was just dicking around on the internet, which sometimes can't be safe because nerds end up buying computer parts they don't need. And I found a computer part I didn't need. Mm -hmm. And you bought it. So I bought it. I -hmm. like it. I think it's cool. Like, I don't have one. The settings on it for for the A RGB are actually amazing. What's the A stand for? Oh, there you go. Thank you for asking the question. If any of our fans know what that stands for, hit us up oh, at Alatros17, at Jupadre, and at Juhadre, and Bleen with three N's. Well, why are you going to torture me with this? Now I'm not oh, going to know. I'll, I'll, I'll type it right now oh, to you. Okay, but that's going to be a, a winning thing for anyone who does get that in there. Speaking, I'm going to make... You're gonna you're gonna laugh at this. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. Maybe. <laughs> you're kidding, right? Uh it's either that word or it's um it's either that word or Well, I'm gonna uh, tell you my guess. 
before before you sent me that the only word i could think of was aggressive that was what my guess was gonna be but i i really don't I'm, think okay, that's i'm what looking it up is. right to make sure i was correct okay um yeah. what no that that's just what rgb means come on <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good but you see that's, this, that's funny i, I I've heard, I've just heard that's what it's called. I've actually never looked up what the A means. I'm just okay. like, oh, that that 100% makes sense. So then to continue talking about, you know, production value and appreciating it more about that, you, we can still see that poor Albatross does not have camera capabilities. And, you know, that's oh, man, yeah. making sure all the right the hardware and everything is in there is another really big deal. And so when, when looking at videos and streams and podcasts now, remember that everyone is doing what they can with what they have because that's all that's available at the moment. Yeah, it would cost me more to get the equipment to use the GrillPro's webcam than it would be to buy a Logitech C922 4K. Is that the 4K one? Or is it no, the it's just a 1080p. But that's the one I'm using literally right now. and Yeah, and it works great. It, yeah, it, it works amazingly. In fact, you may not know this, but on the recording, the first... You're flipping me off. I am not. I am not. <laughs> but when we did our first tests, our first episode, uh, the camera has a built-in microphone. And so... Oh, yeah, I remember that. That microphone was impressive. So every time you guys, everyone out there listens to an episode of Jupadre, I'm not using this yeti here this is just so i can talk into discord it's using just the microphone on the camera and so albatross yes. you might you might not even need to set up your camera or wow sorry your microphone separate from it because this little doohickey is incredible yeah um to to give everybody i'm i i'm not being lazy at it i check every day to see when it comes back in stock but they are 99 dollars uh, at Best Buy versus like two hundred and sixty nine dollars at Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> and they're nowhere near available within two hundred and fifty miles of where I am currently at. Oh, so boy. dang it. Yeah. Plus, I bought the GoPro right before all the quarantine happened. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know I would need need one. So I like I feel even like not bad because I'm like, well, I don't want to get rid of it. I am using it. But mm -hmm. well, yeah, we're gonna use it. it to to do our tours. Heck yeah, we are. But that's, yeah. you know, I want I want everyone to take time to truly appreciate what production value actually is. So when you see a quality stream, instead of nitpicking some of the smaller things, you know, really take the time to think about what people have had to put into their, their production time-wise, you know, actual sit down at the computer-wise, testing-wise, all of those things, they're really a big deal. And... When... No, it really is. It makes it makes a difference thinking of how our podcasts are anywhere between 40 and 50 minutes, but there's like at least 20 to 30 minutes of prep time mm -hmm. at the time before the podcast. And even before then, it's a little bit more than that because, I mean, I saw Blaine earlier. He got a haircut. <laughs> what, what was that, Blaine? Juhadre has to figure out the topic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, guys. So... I had a lot of of ideas Andrew really really strict and since we've opened up a little bit it's become harder and harder to think of entertaining conversations that we can have because in reality this isn't an informational podcast per se it's a conversation since the beginning it's been at least Albatross and me just talking to each other about something and well, so, come on. Somebody always says uh, a few of our friends said that our conversations are very entertaining and they'd like to they'd love us. It would be funny to have, just record them. Right. And so I'm I'm like cool our conversation just, yesterday. <laughs> that might have to be a whole different <laughs> just you know what? We, we'll talk about that after logistically there there is a place for that, but it's not you Padre. And the no, reason, it's not. The oh. reason I say that is because <laughs> we've explained it before. the The beginnings of Jupadre was very esports central, and that's why I kept i I wanted the production value thing today specifically because all those esports organizations, anyone wanted to get started, all of, you know, 
it's important to put time and effort and even sometimes a little money into your production to make it that much better. And, and that's why it's been harder for me to come up with these topics because I want them to be a natural topic that we would be talking about so that there aren't that many chops like a couple of episodes ago, but rather that nice flow that we always have, but it still needs to be centrally themed because of our association with our first season with rated R and with where we, we came from so that, you know, those viewers that came in because of our top, our subject matter don't mm-hmm. immediately leave. Does, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yep. FYI, my headset apparently thinks it's going to die. <gasps> oh, you can plug I'm it at in 30%. There. I don't No, It's a 30%. I don't know why it's like, you better plug me in. I'm at 30%. Like you should tell me at 5%. Well, my work laptop tells me at 27% and then dies within six minutes. Dude, <laughs> right? And, which is funny because if you actually turn off the backlight, you get like 13 more hours of battery. It's <laughs> incredible what some of those little settings do. Yeah. yeah if, I, if I have the backlight on my keyboard on, on my stupid work laptop, I get two and a half hours of battery fully charged. Yeah. If I turn it off, I get I can go my entire shift without charging my laptop. Technology is weird. So everybody take the time to thank people and to appreciate good production because it really is incredible. And anyone who wants to give a shot, just try it out. We are currently using OBS to put all of this together and then a program called voice meter to separate all of our our calls and sounds and everything so if you want to try and put something together just to and i'm not bragging here remember admin anonymous basically did all of this via my the guy's a genius yeah that's a genius a wizard if there ever was one and so you know voice meter and obs and we can tweet out what those programs are and maybe a couple links so that you guys can click them and play with it a little if you'd like we then use um adobe premiere pro and audition to then clean it all up to make sure that we get those sound effects in there so really really appreciate what a good production is because it is magnificent and really hard to do and sometimes it's even better when there are mistakes. I think so too. I really think so too because th- right now, Bleen, you didn't have a picture set on Discord for as long as we've been using it. That's been years. <laughs> no. Years. Yeah, I, I never really cared. <laughs> Where are you even at in that picture? In the middle? No, oh, dang it, Bleen. <laughs> where are where where was that picture taken? Oh, where? What location? Yes. Duh. It was, it was a <laughs> canyon trip we did up uh, American Fork Canyon. Hmm. That was that trip. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Was it that trip? Where Alvatos had the Pretty hammock. Pretty sure. And I had my awning mm-hmm. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that that would be it. That's hmm. that's the trip. We so invited everybody wait, for my birthday. You were still living in Pleasant Grove at that time, right? Yeah. What was that? Two years ago. Three. Three. All right. It so... wasn't last summer, and it wasn't the summer before that. I, I want to say because I had uh, I had the monkey, and let's see the monkey. I remember. Okay, I remember we had the monk. The, yes. um My son. Because he wouldn't stop touching the back wall of your of your awning thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That had to have been two years ago. So then, Bleen changed his picture today because his camera wasn't working. And so, you know, bonus there. He had to use a picture from two years ago because he doesn't take pictures of himself. <laughs> I yeah. don't. So the mistake was the camera wasn't working and... What a benefit. We now get to see this wonderful picture of him posing in front of a river in American Fork, Utah. It's gorgeous. It's more it, it it's not a river. It's it's more like a stream. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough for me. To me they're about the same. Okay. So then let's go into our what the F segment. I think it's about time to do so. Okay, well what the F? Let's get this started. So oh, I- Alvatross, would you please give us the votes from last week? 
I would love to. I'm actually a lot happier about this. This week we had seven votes. Holy cow! And I confused oh. the crap out of myself because uh, I I meant to retweet it from my own personal Twitter, but I retweeted it from the Jupadre Twitter. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. And before we I go, know. before <laughs> before we go any further, I do want to say this segment brought to you by Sosic Clothing. That's right. Yes, let's say I, that correctly. This I time. have been mispronouncing it for over a year. It is not so as like it is so sick. And the only reason I know that is I was looking into the um, the creator page and they had they a totally... little they had a tutorial video and it said, check us out on so And I was like, crap. Oh, no. So and I, they called they called you out on it. too, no, did they? they? I called myself out and tweeted at them and said, I am so sorry. And they said that they forgave me. So we're, oh. we're all clear. So guys, just to, <laughs> they are a wonderful company. They're so chill. Their clothing is very comfortable. And when you purchase from them, you get 15% off every purchase. And that 15% goes directly to us so that we can bring you better production than what we have right now. And in the future, that custom made shirt with the peas in the pod. Yep. Totally. Reinvesting. Look look at us supporting the economy. I like it. <laughs> okay, so from last week. Last week we had three uh, three choices. Bleen again, crappy conversation, and don't even know what to S. Damn it. It's, oh, don't even know I what to know say, to... right? So yeah, he's... I don't even know what to say. What the F? Dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so have you guys looked at this at all? I haven't. I retweeted it, and I've let it oh, go good, from good. there. Okay, who do you think won? Hmm, I, I want to say crappy conversation. That was pretty As bad. do I. Well, you were both correct. Yay! But, come on, what the F? You don't <laughs> stand in front of a bathroom and, and talk. You don't. You don't no. do that. Like, like gross and mm -hmm. like that also just seems unhygienic i'm gonna stand here right in front of the bath Ugh, the other thing problem. like think about the timeline here this was in the middle of our quarantine and everyone freaking out about like touching bathrooms and doorknobs and stuff and they're still just standing there in the bathroom a public yes, bathroom mm -hmm. is the number one place you don't want to be when cleanliness is an issue yeah yes yeah. It, it's it's true which actually brings me to my what what the f i love it let's go okay so at our at, at my place of work of employment they have started to buy new things so that they can have it to uh touchless entries or making it easier to where you can just push with like your hip or something so you don't have to touch it with your hands mm -hmm. so our bathroom you can do that with your shoulder. You're, you can push it up with your body now. There, there's no handle to push. But then leaving the bathroom, you there's, they didn't put a foot a, a foot um, pull. Mm -hmm. You literally have to grab it with your hand to open the door still. That's what so, paper towels are for. Yes, but they're also telling us not to do that because you're not supposed to touch anything with your hand. Um, so I agree. Use your paper towel. That's what I'm doing. But they did like they could have installed that at the bottom where you could grip it with your foot. Right. And so. we talked about that. It's, it's yes, just a regular. Okay. So uh, watching the video, imagine, imagine a door and a handle like this, just the, that regular D shaped handle that you need to grab to open it. So yep, you just close on both sides. You pull that off, you turn it 90 degrees and you put it at the bottom so that your foot hooks in just like your hand does. And the problem is solved. Like, I don't understand yes. why that didn't happen. I don't, yeah, because it, it's actually, like, the distance from the outside of the handle to the door is, at, you could, you could, you can put a work boot in it. Mm -hmm. You'd be fine to do, I don't know why they didn't just install it down there. Oh, now I got a foot, I can open it with my foot. Exactly. I don't have to touch anything. So, I was annoyed with that. So, well, I, I was like, what the F, you guys are, you guys, because they had to take off the old handle to put on that new one. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, why didn't you just mm -hmm. order the foot? the foot handle i'm with you there i think that's a great submission yes so i'm gonna type mine down um who would like to go next i can go okay blin so um i have an acquaintance and uh well let me preface this first this has nothing to do with my view on the statutes and the what they're doing 
uh, about the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. This is solely about the person who made the statement. So this person is the germaphobe in the group. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like shaking hands. He doesn't like, uh, you know, touching handles. You know, he he's the germaphobe. Okay. Uh, I asked him about the coronavirus, and he, of all people in that group, was just like, I think they're overreacting a little bit. <laughs> what the <laughs> F? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're overreacting to anything. When, uh, <laughs> no. We're seeing... I don't think we are. Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm like, sorry, the way you said, oh, wow, that's amazing, made it sound like you looked at something. No, no, I didn't. But another great submission. Like, how do you, how as someone who's overly cautious anyway, thinks someone else is being overly cautious when it's a global pandemic where the the deaths in the U.S. are approaching 10,000? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and on a positive note, there is a video, uh, the city of Wuhan in China, uh, it shows them lighting off fireworks all over all over the valley mm -hmm. in celebration that they say that they they feel like they officially have beat COVID nineteen. Well, there you go. That's great news. I think that was awesome. When I watched it, I was like, oh. But it's funny because in the video, it's off TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, the person that submitted it said, "In America, we'll do bigger." <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> what are we gonna call that one, Blaine? Uh. Well, I'm naming mine to handle or not. I like. <laughs> so should it be to overreact or no 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 because why did I do that? That was literally an exact copy of yours, just with something else. Pretend <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, too precocious uh, for precocious <laughs> is precocious the same as cautious? I don't think so. Um, is does that word work? I'm not. A positive on its definition uh i mean i've got the internet open i can look what was, what was it precocious is that precocious or precocious i think it's pre but while you're looking precocious. that up and bleen while you're thinking i'm gonna tell you guys my story uh on my way out of work yesterday no actually it was to take albatross to go get his rental car um i got a call from an unknown number I answered. I always answer. Was, was it was it Jesus? It was not Jesus. Dang it! But I answered. I said, hello. And they said, hello. I believe I missed a call from this number. I said, hmm. I haven't called this number. You know, there's a good chance I returned a call from missing a call from you. They're like, okay. Well, then bye-bye. So they hung up. Oh my gosh, I hate it when people do that. Now, I don't mind it so much because I'm the one who answered the phone. But... Here's where it gets interesting. I went through my my history with that phone number. It does turn out that they called me first. I called them back. And the one I received yesterday was indeed a callback from my callback from the initial call. But. <laughs> okay. You should call them back. No. But they're the ones that initiated the call. Here's the what the F moment. Uh, okay. That okay. first call was placed on February 17th. That's all that's almost 2 months ago. Yeah, 2 months later, hey, I missed your call. What? Wait 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. You said initial. So, are you talking the February 17th was when you called them back? Yeah, both. They called me and uh looking at the time here within 9 minutes I called them back, no one answered. And then two Wait. months later, hey, I missed what a call from F? you. Yeah, that's what two I'm months saying. Later, two months. Like the okay. longest game of phone tag ever. <laughs> that's that's a I great like title. Oh, I like that's it. the okay. title. <laughs> but when I when I looked at it, I almost immediately called you, Albatross, to say, "Hey, I need a second because this just happened." Then I remembered your quote: "Save it for the podcast." Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we, yeah. we have that. Oh, okay, we did have a funny that I almost, okay, so we were driving. This okay, is wait, not wait, another wait, one. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, Mine's going to be called Germaphobe Say What. 
Yes. Yes. Germaphobe. I like that. Germaphobe. Say what? How do you spell germaphobe? G E R M O P H O B E. Germophobe? Is that what it is? Germo. Yeah, I think so. I think it's germophobe. O. Yeah. I can be wrong on that, by the way. That was. Oh my gosh! Guess. I got it! 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 Germ hyphen uh hyphen phobe. <laughs> is the uh U H like uh? Yes, that, it is. Uh, works. I like yes, it. Yes, it is. Germ uh phobe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Oh, we could do germ of uh, just like that instead of say what? Just germ uh phobe question mark. Sure. I like it. Okay. I like them both. I think they're both pick. good. They're both good. Okay. Precocious is nothing of what we thought it meant. Oh, boy. It's, a, it's an adjective having developed certain abilities or proclivities at an earlier age than usual. Huh. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. And then it's got uh, C results about precocious puberty. So, <laughs> so it's honestly, like that prodigy. just makes me think that sure okay all right i i just think the c results about coach's puberty is like okay well we discovered porn a lot early <laughs> earlier <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna do it for our what the f segment today albatross <laughs> give us a quick rundown of our three candidates for this coming week. awesome awesome today we got two handle or not bathroom uh what the f uh germaphobe somebody who says we're overreacting when they're a germaphobe that's that literally does not make sense in my head. Mm -hmm. And then the longest game of phone tech. Yes, I missed the call from this number. Wait, I don't remember calling. Yeah, you called me like two months ago. <laughs> I like your commentary afterward. Oh, so it's that's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> the poll will go up later today. And don't yes. forget to vote on that. Retweet it when you do like it. Get everybody you can to start listening and voting because it's we need the help, guys. We really do. Yes, yes. And we did post a picture up on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. Hey, drive through is the only thing that's open, so I'm sorry. That guy was a genius. Yeah, he was. drive through like a boss. So mm -hmm. good. Yes, take a look at our Instagram. We are starting to uh, – Juhadra and I on our way to get my rental car yesterday. We decided to take a picture and start posting. So we posted. What kind did you get? What kind did I – oh, what was my rental car? Yeah. The only thing that they had available – was a 2020 uh, Tucson. Oh, okay. So I actually asked, I was like, hey, can I take the giant truck that's on the lot since it's not a Hyundai? It was a, it was a Ford F250 or 150? I think it was lifted. a 150 is what you said. Well, it was lifted, but hmm. yeah, I think it was a 150. But it was lifted, and he's like, no, it has to be a Hyundai, which makes sense because they're obviously they want you to take a brand new Hyundai because they want you to – want to buy it and upgrade and i i i like it don't get me wrong i like this i like the smell of a new car i like the feel of a new car i would never buy a tucson it's no? not no it doesn't it's it doesn't have uh the up and go that i like it's it's not it doesn't feel powerful enough like what, what i'm trying to say it doesn't get up and go like i like it mm -hmm. doesn't feel muscly i like like muscly all righty so well then, uh, do you guys have any announcements you need to bring forth? Um, I have nothing other than the fact that I bought a useless piece of hardware for my PC and I love it. Excuse me, I like it. That's a good announcement. Bleen, do you have anything? Nope. Okay, uh, first thing, the last episode we did about expectations, I misspoke. At the beginning of the episode, I said we were going to talk about the top six teams in LCS. And it turns out we talked about two of the bottom teams as well. So I want to apologize for that. Because we talked about a lot more than that. Uh, our sl K Slink, our virtual business card, we never gave an actual link. We just told you to go to the Twitter because it was get s.link dash weird things. And it was really hard to say. But for everyone's ease, Slink has released a new update. So you can go to myslink.app slash jupadre. There you yep, go. It is tweet. Guess what? I just tweeted it. 
what the new the new one or the yeah the new one good good i already updated it on the on the actual website i know my headset is low it's plugged in you (laughs) stupid piece of crap i have it plugged in it's charging now that it's at 15 percent. it's still it's still telling me it's low oh boy so Um... those two the next is and guys i continually hate to do this to you but the phoenix rising league does not start tomorrow they had other teams come on so it is postponed until hold on let me get the mouse working here until the 17th no 18th the 18th of april is when our first games will be look for tweets about the time and uh an official announcement at team rated underscore r will be putting that out I will like it on my personal Twitter at Juhadre, and maybe we'll get it on the on the Jupadre retweeted as well. But gotcha. Those are it. I think yeah, those are all of our announcements, everybody. Thank you for continuing to listen to us, for watching us on YouTube. Also, actually the last thing, I don't know what happened. The Episode 14 is not available on Spotify, and I can guess that it's not available almost anywhere else either. It is up on YouTube. You can watch it there. Uh, YouTube, you search Rated R Esports, and it has its own playlist for all the episodes of Jupadre. It is available there. I know that for a fact, but I, I'm going to figure out what happened everywhere else and get it posted up there as soon as we can. And that is going to do it for me, guys. Do you anything else you want to bring up? Nope. Uh, I'm good. I'm actually really good. It's been a great day. It's been a good episode. And uh, again, a reminder, ARGB, what does the A stand for? I like it. Albatross, take us out, my friend. What? Oh, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this says Banju Padre, Season 3, Episode 15. Uh, go ahead and get us on, on social media at Juhadre, that's J-U-H-A-D-R-E, at Albatross17, uh, at Bleen with three N's, and at Team, at, sorry, at Rated R, and their new one is at Team Rated underscore R, it's, that's at T-E-A-M-R-A-T-E-D underscore R. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, um, if you actually go to Twitter, you can find all of our, all of the, uh, Dang it, you threw me off really bad. Dang it. <laughs> you can find all the platforms that we're on, such as Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Pandora. Actually, I don't think I don't think you can get to us from Pandora. It's just random, right? No, you can get so it's a weird thing, but yeah, you can find us on Pandora. Okay, hey, you can find us on Pandora. I don't use I don't I don't use it, so I don't I don't know. But you can find us on all the major platforms right now. And have a good week.